Okay, so I have this idea that's been sitting with me for several months and won't leave me alone. And I'm hoping that by putting it out there, either someone will help me implement it or just run with it and tell me where to sign up because all I want is for this to be a reality. I don't care if it comes from me or from somebody else. Um, so the idea is best exposed through a couple of anecdotes, actually three or four anecdotes that um, gave birth to it. First of all, I was um, at my family's place that we've had since the 1500s in Italy, and we had a historian come and give a kind of, um, paint a picture for us of what life was like for members of our family in the 1500s and 1600s. And they told us what they ate, how they dressed, what their habits were. And it turns out that all of this information was gleaned from one source. It was from the meticulous financial records that were kept by the members of my family. And from these records, they were able to piece together what they ate, when they ate, um, all sorts of incredible forensic details were extrapolated from this. Um, okay, anecdote one. Anecdote two. Um, there was a girl who was uh, on Tinder for about six months and she asked with some difficulty for uh, the records that Tinder had kept on her. And she got, after a little bit of insistence, their 600 page dossier on her, which included where she was, um, what type of uh, preferences she had, and all sorts of very intimate details of her life that she didn't know were being kept. Um, anecdote number three, I used to post all sorts of things on MySpace and Friendster uh, and early social media. Those things are gone. I don't like this. So rather than uh, cry about the the uh, invasion of privacy that some what some of these companies are keeping uh, uh, the data that they keep on you represents. I uh, am more as a kind of obsessive archivist and more upset by the loss of this data that occurs when these companies go out of business than I am about it existing. I'm also upset about the fact that I don't own this data or even have access to it. Okay, next anecdote is that there was a woman who lost her boyfriend who died prematurely and she had um, him, um, she had all the text messages that they had exchanged fed into a machine learning program and um, she had an AI bot created with uh, that sounded just like him that she could text and would, um, you know, based on all of the texts that he had ever sent and they had ever exchanged, they were able to build uh, a real, you know, kind of convincing replica or avatar uh, text based of the lost boyfriend. So the idea I have is called fossil or footprint, digital footprint. Oh, wait, there's another anecdote that I have to say. There's um, Leonardo da Vinci, when he painted the Mona Lisa, which was recently uh, attempted to be defaced at the Louvre, um, there was no way he could have imagined uh, X-ray technology that would be able to show previous drafts of the painting that lay underneath. He thought that when he painted over something, it was gone for good. And yet um, he left all sorts of forensic evidence of what happened before and the you know people now can use that to recreate his process so my dream um for an app is uh happens in two phases one i would like something that allows me to pay to collect all the data that exists about me in these disparate companies that may or may not exist for future uh, civilizations to um, reconstruct what my what life was like for people these days. So I would like to have my Google 
location data, my search history, my dating profiles, my Instagram posts, my YouTube posts, my um, banking data, my, uh, you know, I mean, the list goes on and on. Every photo and every video that I've ever taken or that, it, that I've collected, both of, what, of, of me and of the world as I see it, um, my, you know, uh, browser history, um, my emails, my text messages, and I would like, uh, you know, I would like to be able to have a service that collects all this data and uh, encrypts it and allows it to be stored in various degrees of safety. And I can imagine, you know, the free version where the stuff stays on the servers of, of the different companies, but is like at least uh, kind of collected um, or is stored on Amazon Cloud, uh, which already allows unlimited storage of your photos. Um, and I imagine a lot of text data would not be that difficult or expensive to store. And then I would like phase two of this, of this app to uh, be a digital avatar of oneself that can be, that uses machine learning, not just of a specific, now this is where it's like a little bit more technical than I, than I know how to do, but I have talked to some people and said that they've said it's possible. Uh, I would like the avatar that's like the woman made of her dead ex-boyfriend, um, but not just based on my text messages, it would be nice if it was even based on my 23andMe DNA data and photographs and videos and memories of that are, would be better than my own of each place that I've been um, and when I was there. So, you know, if I was able to recreate my voice from all the podcasts, it could say, oh, by the way, August 18th, 2017, I was in X place and I was with this person. And, and of course there would be all sorts of, um, the, 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 the level of today's machine learning to the, the, the ability of today's machine learning to create uh, a convincing replica of the person who uses service would be primitive by the standards of a civilization 20 years, 50 years, 100 years, 1000 years in the future. So I'm sure there's there's details that are contained in this video that today's people or AIs don't know what to make of. But maybe it's just like the way my hand moves or a certain quiver in my voice reveals enough to a civilization 10,000 years from now to be able to actually recreate even my own consciousness. So um, the app that I would like to create, if you're out there and you see this and you would like to help me make it a reality or you just want to do it, I'm not feeling proprietary about this idea. I'm sure somebody has it. Maybe somebody's already working on this. Um, I know that there's a there's an app called Replica, which kind of creates like a little AI bot based on you, but it's kind of like sneaky about collecting your data instead of being explicit about it. Again, phase one, collect your data explicitly and let you have access to it. I think uh, I personally would pay money for this. I would pay good money to know that my data is immune to, you know, X corporation that's collecting my data now going bankrupt. I would like to know that my uh, digital footprint is preserved in a way that's less haphazard than it is now. So let me know what you think and um, get in touch if you would like to help make this a reality. Thanks.